Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Original Video Reviews, I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package which contains the Cohen E7 Bluetooth headset. As always we're going to find out what's inside and what I think about it, so let's not waste any time and unpackage it! Cohen E7 is a popular Bluetooth headset that is available for several years and offers active noise cancellation for an affordable price. Let's see what's included inside the package. First we have the Cohen E7 headset itself. You get a 3.5mm audio cable, so you can use the headset if the battery runs out. There's also a micro USB cable to charge the battery, a leather like storage bag and a user guide in several languages. The headset generates good audio quality, but in my opinion there are two issues with the sound. Number one is that the bass is a bit dull, and number two is that the overall result goes into my ears and lacks the surround feeling. Let's say it does the job, but it is far from offering a unique sound experience. The driver's diameter is 40mm. For some reason, the Cohen E7 is labeled as headphones, but it has a built-in microphone and you can use it for making phone calls, so I perceive it as a headset. And from the several people that I spoke with using this headset, it seems to work well. Its build quality is okay and it seems durable. There's padding across the arc, which is extendable, and around the adjustable earphones. The control buttons are located on the right earphone as following. This is the mode switch and you can see that there are three options. Power off, Bluetooth connection and noise cancellation. Next to it is the built-in microphone and this 3.5mm socket that can be used with a wired cable. Here you can see the multifunctional button that controls the volume level, you can play and pause music with it, answer and disconnect phone calls, etc. You can connect this headset easily with devices that support NFC by tapping on the right earphone, just make sure that the power switch isn't set to off. On the left earphone, you can see the micro USB socket to charge the headset and next to it is the charging LED indicator. It takes between 2-4 to four hours to charge the battery and then it should last up to 30 minutes of playtime. Now here's what I liked about the Cohen E7 headset. First, the active noise cancellation is surprisingly effective. It will be hard for me to convince people who use premium headsets or headphones with active noise cancellation that this headset's active noise cancellation is worth the money. The reason is that on premium models, the ANC is in a different standard of isolation from your environment and has an immediate wow effect. But you need to pay 4 or 5 times more to get this kind of pleasure. And yet, there's a noticeable difference when enabling the ANC switch in this headset. It silences external sounds, such as me singing or clapping my hands, without degrading the audio quality too much. The bass loses its impact, but the sacrifice is worth it and you get used to the ANC quickly. Another thing that's good about this headset is that it's comfortable during a long use. From the moment I wore the headset, it felt quite convenient. The grip is a bit tight, but the headset has several adjustable parts that allow to set it to the right size and position. As an adult person with a relatively big head, I estimate that most people will feel comfortable with the Cohen E7. Here's what I didn't like so much about this headset, the feeling of the materials is a bit cheap. Don't get me wrong, I think the Cohen E7 looks fine and the build quality is good, but the headphones are made from plastic that looks and feels a bit cheap. Also, although the arc is comfortable, the padding is minimal and when I press it I can feel the metal inside. The ANC mode isn't perfect and it suffers from disturbances. I noticed these disturbances while I was riding the bus. I don't know what was the trigger that caused it, but it sounded like a bump as if someone hits you in the head that stopped the audio from playing for a brief second. Since it happened several times one after the other, it was very annoying. Another thing I noticed is that when I move my head fast from side to side, there's this disturbance in the sound that doesn't occur when the ANC is disabled. Battery life is subject to several parameters, but the way I use headsets is usually the same. 
Currently, I feel that the battery life runs out faster compared to other headsets I've been using so far, but this is more of a gut feeling I have and not something that I tested with a stopwatch. The leather-like storage bag isn't that practical though. It looks prestigious, but it's not the most practical storage solution for a headset. Personally, I prefer a hot shell case that is more protective or alternately to use a cloth bag that will allow me to clean the headset if it gets dirty or sweaty. Also, it feels as if you need to squeeze the headset to fit into this bag properly. Well, boys and girls, this was my video review of the Cohen E7 Active Noise Cancellation Bluetooth headset. You can read the full review I made of this headset on my website www originalvideoreviews.com and I also invite you to visit my other YouTube channels and check original video reviews on the other social pages. If you have any questions, leave your comment on this video and if you enjoyed watching this video and it was helpful, I invite you to give it a like. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.